Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Oxygen Not Included Strategy and Tactics, episode 20, 29, if I remember correctly. Um, so, we are in the middle of our boiler maker, uh, or while they're making our boiler. Um, but we still have some, we still need to seal the thing up. I'm also uh, doubting my wisdom for making these all gas permeable tiles. Maybe we should just make this last one gas permeable. So I'm going to cancel that and we will deconstruct these. Because what you don't want is you don't want water, um, you don't want steam condensing into water in the middle of a uh, gas permeable tile. That will break the tile and cause problems. We saw that earlier when we were farting around with the steam guys. Um, so yeah. But this, one, this we want the chute. So, that being said, we want uh, this area up here. I don't like that cracked tile. I'm going to replace it with a proper, uh, proper tile. In fact, I should probably replace all of these with proper abyssalette tiles, just for the proper insulation. And for, say, proper more times than is, strictly speaking, necessary. Um, yeah, let's abyssalite these as well. Uh, as far as here, let's just start with 2,000 grams a second. And of course we need to make sure we plant all these warts to get the uh, air nice and chilly. Yeah, one tile thick, uh, not so good. Uh, well, I don't think it's going to cause a problem at the moment, but once this res this little mini reservoir starts filling up, it will be. It will be. All right, how are we doing on it? So again, temperature check. Yep, that's starting to cool. This is starting to cool, though some of the solids have... Uh, have uh, made, made themselves known in terms of uh, absorbing the heat. We're making a little bit of a uh, lake here thanks to this radiant heat here. But that's uh, wolframite. That's this takes on this takes on the the temperature of its surroundings readily. Oh, hang on, we gotta make sure. Yeah, let's dig that and dig that. We do want to make sure there is a clear path up here. Pipeline if we go. Oh, Pete's sick. Put that up there so they can get at it. This is bothering me that this bottom tile never got dug out. And it'll let them clear and hollow this place out when they have the time. I probably should build a, uh, well, I don't think it's going to get too deep to be operable, uh, a pump in here. Because this obviously is not going to be a proper permanent uh, storage. We're going to be sending this water elsewhere. Let's, uh, reach it. Okay. This is starting to fill back up, which is fine. We'll turn the, we'll turn this back on once, uh, once it starts getting closer to the geyser itself. Oh yeah, they can't get in there because there's too much too much water. That's okay. As long as we get this thing built, and then I can seal this off, and we can uh, start our experiment. Oh, uh, derp! Another thing we need 
here, or hay, is some, uh, is some uh, uh, gas permeable tile so the steam from this thing can actually rise above and make its way up here. Now one thing I think I'm going to do, just to give myself a, an out here, just in case I have miscalculated, is I'm going to put a gas vent in here. Um, and just have some gas piping come sticking out of it. I'm not going to hook it to anything specific right this moment. You know what, this thing can... we can, uh, we can disable this. It's, uh, there's enough air pressure over there. Okay, um, let's, well, hang on, let's put this switch, I, I should have put this switch a little bit higher. And it's actually probably good that I've made all this stuff out of gold amalgam, because this place is, it's a boiler, it's going to get hot. Hmm. You know what, the other sort of thing that I'm going to try here, and again, this is just to give me an out, is um, this gas pump right here. Uh, again, I'm not going to hook it to anything specific, but what I am going to do is just stick it out of here so it's built so I can, if I need to play around with the ga gas content of the inside of the boiler, I can. Uh, let me just get the uh, gas piping here. All right. All right. So this thing is doing its thing a little bit sooner than I'd like it to, but. Oh, yeah, let's turn this off. Because we're not quite ready for showtime. Well, I am curious. So the fluid water is coming down here at 25 degrees Celsius. And I think this is going too fast. This needs to be really at a trip. Like, because we don't want what we don't want is we don't want the water continuously cycling itself and dripping down here. Because yeah, it'll warm up a little bit. to be submerged in a little bit more water. Perhaps... Yeah, let's actually... I'm going to have to bust into this. No, 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 not all, not all, not all. Let's give this a try with just this, uh... ah, so he had a little bit of uh, water there. So we did get a little bit of steamage, uh, which immediately then cooled. Oh wow, that got shallow enough for you guys to do that? Fair enough. Okay, let's replace these abyssalite tiles and try again. Let's turn this on. Hmm. 
we'll let this uh, we'll let this start flowing a little bit more because uh, you can see it, it keeps turning its oh the mummins idle idle you got idlers hmm. Well, if we've got idlers, then I've got an expedition for you guys. We need more Weezwarts. There's one. There's two. We already got this door here, so, uh, yeah. Let's have at it. Go for it. Keep yourselves busy. Of course, those plants will do it just fine for us. Aha! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See right here? See what just happened right there? Boiling. The, the, uh, we, we have boilage. Oh, and we also have an unsealed boiler. That's, uh, kind of defeats the purpose. Now this whole area is going to need to get rocket hot for a bit, because uh, otherwise the steam is just going to quickly condense itself and turn back into there. Yeah, we don't want too much more water onto this thing, because otherwise it's just going to—it's just going to keep it submerged here. But yeah, this thing makes copious amounts of power. What we want here is we want this... It still says... Steam. There it is. There's our steam. Um, I think what I might do is I might uh, plug in... Sheesh. Uh, I might plug in wire bridge here. This and um, obviously we're gonna need the uh, piping to go somewhere. We'll just send it into that pipeline and let it go where it wants to go. Because we want to clear out some of this uh, polluted oxygen to uh, give the steam uh, a place to go. Let's check our... Yes, yeah, this is getting rocket hot. We want this at a bare minimum. In fact, let's keep it at, let's keep it at zero until we can make sure this thing is processing at an approachable rate. Then we'll we'll turn it into a drip once we get this thing working. Let's also. Boy, I never thought I was going to actually use this many of manual power switches, but they're darn useful in these situations. Like turning this one back on because our water level is starting to get high. Yep, there it goes. It's transforming. You know, I almost wonder if I'm overcomplicating this. What if I just put the wheeze, um, uh, put the uh, put the wheeze warts in this room rather than farting around with that? Well, let's test this out and see if we can get the steam up here. That's our first hurdle, is to make sure, make the steam make its way up here. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Yeah, this, there's still some fairly thick polluted oxygen. Now, this will keep pumping and creating a vacuum, uh, which should help. Oh, you know what's going on? I see what's going on. There's a layer of liquid on here that's preventing the gas from passing it. No wonder. All right, we're going to have to mop. That's why the water, that's why the stuff wasn't going any higher. Because, yeah, this, uh, a layer of liquid on top of gas permeable renders it no longer gas permeable. So. Let's get that little thing right there. Yeah, see now, see how, how the, uh, polluted oxygen all made its way up here now, finally? Um as well as taking it in from the sides here. Which obviously we do not want. See now you so you so silly. What you doing, buddy? Bert, Bert, thank you. That's not where we stand! You should know that by now, Bert. All right, it's the air's getting really thin up here. The oxygen, the oxide, water. Oh, uh, the tepidizer's not actually. Uh, Oop, there, there we go. So, so we had a uh, we had a little bit of steam rake it up here, but then the uh, um, this kind of brought it back down. Um, but it's a work in progress here. There's there will be things that we need to to keep an eye on. I ponder using a second tepidizer, but that's just a lot of electricity. Now, is there something preventing this from constantly giving us uh, a steady current of electricity? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. You had me scared for a minute. Someone must have dropped it when they were climbing. Although that's a lot of rations of meal lice. I mean, holy crap! Let's go rescue those. Our first food has decayed message. Our very first one. Oop, oop, we got a little of the water up here. Happy days. Yeah, I don't think the water's ever gonna make it all the way up here. But we, uh, I think we can adapt and improvise here. So, what we're gonna do is this. Actually, honestly, we don't even need, we don't even need the extra coolant here. What's this water's temperature at? Uh, 37 degrees Celsius. Not, not not terrible, actually. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, once again, open this back up. I probably should have just put a door there, but I don't want to... The door is going to leach heat because you can't make doors out of abyssalite. Um, you're going to make a... Uh, you're going to make a uh, liquid pump here. Right here. Um... And we'll add it to this pump right here, might as well. But we're also going to put the power line on a uh, hydro switch so that this thing's only going to turn on when there's enough water sitting here. And actually, what we need to do is this. That. Oh, 
we need a way to get the water up and over. Because otherwise the water is just going to spill back down. Actually, you know what? Here's what we do. We make these out of mesh tiles. The water spills back down. It spills back down. Uh, but if it makes it over here... Now, the other thing is we'll want to turn this gas pump off. Um, mainly because we don't want it sucking up the steam, because otherwise that's going to cause a problem. And the piping... Oh yeah, once again, we'll go for insulated. This is going to be slightly hot. And might as well plug it in there. You know, part of me wants to use two tepidizers. It's going to use a lot of juice, but this might be the way to do it. First of all, it also might uh, you know, process more, uh, more stuff here. Of course, we're going to need a whole other line uh, to handle it, but I think we can. How are we doing with the water here? 70 degrees, obviously it needs to. Yep, we have a little, little bit of a little bit of thing here. But soon, my pretty boy, there soon. And actually, if we're going with Plan B here, we might as well uh, seal this one up, and we might as well deconstruct all of these so we can reintroduce them to our other biomes. See, now this is really good. This is really good gas right here. What I might do here is... One right here. Yeah, look at all that melting. Actually, this thing, we don't need the tile here. We'll just put the... Uh, just put the, uh, the vase right here. That mesh tile should help things out. Also, yeah, we're going to want to seal this back up. Uh, only to active if above 500. Yeah, that'll work. That way it's not sitting on the switch here, and it will be dynamic based on, uh, based on if we can get some water up here. Alright, all we need to do now is wait and also suck up the last of the uh, polluted oxygen here so that there's absolutely no competition for our uh, steam here. It's dripping into here. How about that? Oh, I know it. We need to put one wheeze warp right here. That's what we need. All right, still just at that bottom of that pit. That's fine. All right, one more time opening this up and closing it again. <laughs> Flower vase goes here. And we can, uh, we can turn this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all in that one pit. Don't really care. Yeah, 
This also may be too small of a space for me to operate in. That is a possibility. Alright, we just want seed out at nine, please. At this point, really, I mean, our numbers grow into the, 800, into the 800k range, despite all of the decay. <laughs> Beautiful. And now there's enough polluted oxygen here to uh, start getting in the way, so we'll turn this on for a little bit more. This is should uh, get the rest of that out here. We do want to make this up a part of that here. Alright, so as for these other Weeswort seeds, we do definitely want to replant them. Oops. Here. Here. One right there, and one right here. Now the air up here is actually quite thick, so the air the, the air situation has resolved itself to where it is actually uh, uh, dense enough for these weasworts to do their thing properly. Still dealing with the vacuum here. We're still trying to clean out the rest of these. Hmm. I wonder if this liquid pipe is thwarting my efforts. I think it is, actually. I think it needs to be insulated, not because I'm worried about the water in here being warmed up, but I'm worried about this water cooling the air as it goes by. Yeah. We're going to have to crack this puppy open and insulate those tiles. This is science, folks. Once, uh, once the morning rolls around, it will insulate those tiles. It wants to make so much steam so badly, but as soon as it hits up here, it, uh, and yeah, we can just turn the water flow up a little bit more to account for this. Yeah, I know, Turner, uh, and, and friends. But you see this dirt here? That dirt is from the, uh, uh that dirt's from the, uh, um, the, the, the pollution, uh, the polluted water evaporating. That's where that dirt's coming from. We, we don't have any deaths here with these people. Uh... Yeah, I know you're scalding. I know this is dangerous work, guys. Don't die on me now. Okay, all those pipes have been insulated, so they should not uh, cool the air around them. Uh, let's get those. Get this sealed off. Now, did that do uh, damage to some people? The circuit's overloaded. Meh. They'll fix it. Let's take a look at our reports here. Vitals, who's injured? 
Kelly got a little injured. Uh, Shona got a little injured. No one, no one seriously though. All right, Shona. Oh, actually, let's do. Yeah, yeah, let's do Ellie. Maybe, maybe the old-fashioned thing will cure her. And she can stop being freaking sick. Meanwhile, Shona, you can go in there. Heal up. Heal, heal thy scalds. Yeah, so yeah, it's all carbon dioxide now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We might have also had too much water in here. Building a tomb. What? Turned into sand? Really? Really? You're gonna go with that? Well, now I can see why. Because, yeah, if you superheat it even higher, it turns from dirt into sand. We don't want, we don't want that. All right, so things are getting a little bit too hot. So we're, uh, we're going to let in the water again. And, uh, and once again, I guess we'll uh, doorway it here. Why can't I? Am I missing something? I guess I have to deconstruct these pipe, these tiles anyway. Yeah, that's the problem. We don't want the dirt to uh, to turn to sand. Thank goodness. Marie, what are you doing? It's like, let me stand right on the tepidizer. That'll go real well. And yeah, we'll put this in here. Let's get this sealed up. Yeah, give me that steam. Give me that steam and give me that door, please. Any time now. No, I do not care at this. Oh, for Pete's sake! Somebody finish this damn thing. Thank you. Now you may go to bed. All right, we got a little water accumulation over here, which is good. Uh, we just need to wait for it to start accumulating over here. Oh, uh, yeah, we still have some appreciable amounts of carbon dioxide to suck out. Because what we do want to do is we want to draw, we want to create a vacuum over here. Uh, basically, we want the steam to come up here, get drawn in this direction, and then when it hits the wheeze wart, uh, gets, uh, gets cooled by the wheeze wart and condenses. That's what we're after here. I hate that it's working on the wrong side. But in due time, as, as the temperature of this whole place starts heating up, uh, it'll be less ready, readily condensing itself until it comes over to the cool spot.
Alright, let's see how we are doing temperature-wise here. Eh, it's working. This ice all hasn't melted yet, though. That's a... I think we have a lot, a lot of uh, liquid uh, uh, stored up in here. So as that melts, it will uh, cool things down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And look at that. We're about to flood. Uh, we're about to flood our base here. Time to turn this off. And ironically, the hydro switch is the one thing being exempt from the water. Ah, uh, what's the temperature like in here? Uh, not too bad, actually. But yeah, a nice, full, uh, somewhat cool reservoir. I think, my friends, I think we're in good shape. We have kilocalories out the wazoo. We have readily resupplying forms of clean and chilled water ready to go throughout the base. We've got more than enough oxygen, despite the fact this right here, this is a little bit of a lie. Uh, I do not believe that we are. Uh... And you know what? If we need another whole one of these, we can do it. We can do it. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, we've got plenty of power generation with the power of poo. And we can pipe in more natural gas and get more natural gas uh, generators going. Should we choose it? We've got literal banks and banks and banks of food here. So I think, my friends, I think this base is a success. I mean, will it literally last forever? Maybe, maybe not. But I, I, we've set up enough renewable sources of the most critical, vital things needed for life here um, that we, you know, this base could go on for eternity. Of course, it won't be going on for eternity. Um, uh, the, the new major update out there is going to render it. I'm not, it's not completely obsolete. Uh, but there are going to be some cha major changes to the map generation. And the only way you can get yourself a new brand, brand spank and new map is to start a new game on the new, uh, on the new update. So keep your eyes peeled. It should be coming out in the coming weeks. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think I'm going to stamp this complete. Um, so let's give us, let's do one last tour here. Um, plenty of oxygen, plenty of power, uh, calories, skill increases uh, across the board. Cycle 120, uh, stress levels, uh, despite, uh, despite uh, this little peak here at 45, um, that's because I've been making everyone go through the tepidizer. I think that will be coming back down uh, soon. Uh, so let us give a, a big thank you to all of our, uh, uh, of our dupes, including our guest stars. Um, of course, my two boys, Koopy Doop and the Mummins, uh, Sino, Michael, Shona, Dana, Ellie, um, uh, Turner, Catalina, Murray, Mima, Max, uh, Thabo, our good friend Thabo here, um, and uh, Hassan, Nicola, Bert, and Frankie. Thank you all, and a thank you to my patrons for sponsoring uh, these duplicates. I could not have, I could not have done this without them. Uh, and without you. Uh, so, uh, until next time, until next series, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya.